So the next thing that we really need to do is set up our lens. And hopefully my face is not in the most annoying place. This is probably the only place I could find to not put it. So with our main camera, should still be uh, activated in yellow. We just need to go over to the right here where it says lens. And we need to go to our, where it says focal length. So this is going to set our sensor size of our camera. So it's the film back width here and height. And it's just the sensor size of your camera. This can be difficult and complicated sometimes if you've got crop factors and stuff like that. I'm just going to, for now, put in the sensor size, what it says for the the height in the spec of it. So my camera is, uh, I've used uh, this one. I've never used it before for tracking. I have no idea how well it's going to track. I imagine it's not going to be as nice as tracking on my other cameras where it's got a really nice sensor, but who knows? So what I'm going to do first is type in the sensor size. That's so it's 15.6. And it's really important that you type in millimeter because that's what the size is and it will do an auto conversion. And you can see it's changed to 1.6 centimeters. If I change it to 15.6 and didn't select millimeters, it will just change everything to a huge 15.6 centimeters, which is not. So make sure you type in millimeters so it automatically changes. I'll have to investigate why that's not matching up perfectly. It's probably because of the crop size. But anyway, we're just gonna go type in our focal length, which is probably actually gonna be wrong considering our focal length, but I'm just gonna put in what we have. Best to go straight off with the data that you have and you know. And that's pretty much it for setting your film back width and height and size. Thanks for watching and subscribe.